Hey guys, what's going on? Cameron here with the Lawn Care Life in Missouri. Today, I want to show you guys this crazy machine. So this is an autonomous mower. It will actually get out here and mow this whole area right here by itself. I don't even have to hop on it. So it's crazy. The technology's here, but just want to show you real quick, uh, walk around it and show you exactly how this thing works and how it does it. So stick around, stay tuned, and uh, we'll check it out. So this is the Wright ZK autonomous mower. You guys are probably familiar with the Wright ZK, but this one comes with a little bit of a twist. So what's the twist? This right here. The autonomous mowing is powered by Greensy. What does that mean exactly? I'm gonna show you. First off, there's cameras on this machine and they're everywhere. There's a camera here, there's a camera here, there's a camera here, there's a camera here, and there's one back here. But what do they do? They probably just sit here and watch me video myself and be like, what is that guy doing? Why isn't he ever getting any work done? Greensy can probably give you a lot better answer, but from my understanding, they're constantly capturing images, collecting data, and analyzing things, and looking out for things like telephone poles and trees and trucks. Yeah, you definitely don't want to hit somebody's truck. You may be wondering, what about people? What about someone that walks across the lawn while you're out there mowing? The camera will pick up that too. So trees, trucks, telephone poles, people, bigger obstacles, that camera is gonna sense that, pick it up, and know to avoid those areas. So anything of pretty good size, these cameras can pick all that up and knows to avoid those obstacles. But what about things like this or this? How about this? Or this or this? Oh, check that out. It's my phone. <laughs> so if this machine came up to any of those small objects, it would simply come up to them, go over them, and just mulch them in a million pieces because that's not what this machine is designed for. It is designed to come out here and tackle all this wide open area and uh, go around a few trees, a few telephone poles, and uh, yeah, save you a little bit of time. So I'm gonna hop on this machine real quick and I'm gonna show you how to map it out and how it all works. So let's just say this is the first time I showed up to this property to mow it. The first thing I would do is hop on the mower and drive the mower over to the corner of the property. The next thing I'm gonna do with the machine running is hit this map button. So if I hold this map button down, it's gonna light up. I'm gonna drive around the perimeter of the property. When I get back over here to where I started, the map will turn solid. And once that light's solid, that means the map has been stored on the uh, mower.
now I'm just gonna take this switch right here, turn it from manual over to autonomous mowing. The map light is solid, so that means the mower, it knows exactly the boundary to stay within and it's ready to mow. So the next thing we'll do, we'll grab the uh, remote control from the pad here and uh, we'll get started mowing. Anytime you run in autonomous mode with the remote, you want to step away from the machine 10 feet or so, uh, give the mower enough room to do its thing because when I first hit mow, you're going to see here in a minute, it's going to probably go around in a circle and try to find the best spot for it to, uh, to line up and then start and take off mowing. So the mower is switched over to autonomous mode. I've got the remote. I'm just going to hit mow and let it go. So I'll come over here closer to you guys. As you can see, the mow button's over here, number two. You just hit mow, and then you let it go. So the autonomous mower is out there doing its thing. Already laying down a few stripes. As you can see, um, over here, the boundary, it went right up to the boundary, turned around, went back. So like these trees behind me, the limbs are hanging pretty low. They actually hit my head if I were to walk under them. So if the mower sees something like that, it may shut down and stop and notify me because it doesn't really know what it is. It may be something that it doesn't need to get into. This tall grass over here, if I get the uh, mower too close to the tall grass, it might think it's something that it doesn't need to get into. So if the remote will notify me and it'll vibrate. And I'm like, I can just look out here and uh, continue mowing if it's nothing, you know, if it's safe. Maybe there's something that does get out here on the lawn and it doesn't need to hit it. Then I can avoid that area, go around and do whatever I need to do. Um, so anytime you have a situation like that, it's gonna notify you on this remote. While this mower is running, there's actually an app that you can bring up on your phone. It gives you all kind of reports. I'm looking on there right now. Um, it shows you alerts. It'll show you the map of the section that we just mapped out. So I can click on that. Uh, there's also a, a tab for options. If you want to slow the machine down, run it at turtle speed, medium, five miles per hour, fast, seven, turbo, eight miles per hour, you can do that. Uh, you can also select enable relaxed obstacle detection. So this grass behind me, or those low hanging trees. If you know there's something out there like that and you know it's something that is not gonna hurt if it does get close to it, you can enable that relaxed obstacle detection and it's all here within the app. You can actually turn the engine on, turn it off. I'm looking on it right now, everything you can do. Disable blades, uh, enable blade control, uh, just all kinds of things. And then also there's a report tab and that'll show you the 
progress of the machine. So I'm looking on here right now. It's showing me how much is done, how much it has left. If you go back to the map, it'll actually show you how much time is remaining, how many acres mowed. And so all that is inside this app. It's pretty cool. So while this autonomous ZK is out mowing an empty area like this, you can actually hop on a trimmer. I've hopped on the trimmer before and trimmed this ditch line. I've also hopped on a mower before and mowed over there uh, away from this area up by the house. So a lot of options. You know, you can either hop on another mower, you can hop on the trimmer, do whatever you want. You always have this remote on you. So you can actually kill the machine, this button down here on the bottom if you hit it, which I'll do that for you guys here in a minute. I'll just hit it and show you how it stops the machine. But this remote, you can speed it up, uh, speed the mower up by using this remote. So if we toggle this button on the left-hand side, you can toggle it up or down. That is gonna control the speed. So every time I turn it, so every time I move it, you'll see the speed adjust. I can speed it up to about five and a half, six miles per hour, or I can slow it way down. Let's put it on three miles per hour. So that's three miles per hour. If this was real heavy, thick growth, you may want to slow the machine down, but it's not, so we're gonna bump it back up. Check this out. I'm just bumping it up, and as you can see behind me, the mower is going faster and faster. It's all the way up to six miles per hour. For some reason you ever need to stop the machine this button right here if I hit it it's gonna stop the machine so when I hit that it immediately shuts the machine down as you can tell the mower turns off the blades turn off so anytime you're in a situation where you need to shut the machine off immediately hit that button just like that Machine's turned off. All right, let's get this machine started back up. Twist the knob, pops that back out. We just hit mow again. And it should be getting back after it. whole lot of safety features on this machine so uh, I'm in the path of this machine right now if someone were to walk in the path while you were out mowing taking care of a big open property like this I'm going to show you guys real quick what this machine will do So there you go, this machine literally just went out around me and continued mowing. Just like a tree, just like a telephone pole, just like any bigger obstacle, that's what it's gonna do. When it gets up to an obstacle, it's just gonna go out around it. So um, I'm gonna bump it up a little bit, get it back up to six miles per hour and finish this little area out because man, 
I've got a lot of mowing to do, but just wanted to show you guys the autonomous ZK in action, kind of how it works. I know I get a lot of questions on Instagram, Facebook, a lot of questions in the comments on YouTube. So just wanted to share that with you guys. We'll uh, finish up here. I'll show you what happens when uh, the mower gets done. the uh, boundary that I mapped out when I first started and everything that it's mowed has been inside that boundary so that's a good sign. So right now it's making the cleanup pass, going around the perimeter, getting anything that it might have missed on the turns. It's way over there in that far corner. It'll just make its way around over here and come right back to where we started. So the autonomous ZK has finished mowing this entire open area while I could have been doing something else, you know, mowing another area, trimming the ditch, whatever. But uh, you can use this remote to shut it off. Say you're way over there and you're mowing over there and you see that it says on the remote that it's done mowing. You can just switch it to teleop mode and shut the engine off. Check this out. I can hit teleop right here, number four. When I hit number four on the remote, that turns it into remote control mode. So I can actually move the mower around if I want to with the remote, move it forward, move it back, turn it side to side. Right, left, and you can do anything you want to do. You can turn it back on and mow, you can turn the blades on, turn the blades off, engine on, engine off. I'm going to go ahead and just turn the engine off. And there you go. The machine shut back down. So crazy, man, the technology that is on this uh, Wright ZK autonomous mower powered by Green Z. But just wanted to show you guys that today. Uh, just show you a little bit more about it. Maybe help answer some more questions. If you have any more questions about the mower, drop a comment below, let me know. I've been trying it out for a little while now. I don't know everything about it, but I do know a whole lot. I'm learning more and more. So 
Right, ZK Autonomous Mower. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think of it. Let me know if you got any questions. But I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if there's something else you might want to see uh, of how this mower works. So I'm Cameron with the Lawn Care Life in Missouri. Appreciate you guys sticking around. Appreciate you watching the video. Hope you guys are having a good day. Catch you in the next one. And as always, hey, God provides. remote real quick to move the mower around. Check this out. That is too cool. So you want to double cut, you just hit mow again, that's all there is to it. Hit mow, it'll take off mowing.